Awesome. Thank you, Shazi. Redeema, are you ready? Um, yes. Sorry okay. for keeping everyone waiting. That's okay. Um, That's okay. Good, Over to you. Good to see. <laughs> good to see everyone on. Um, I wanted to share something with you all. Um, that um, journey of my life, and um, I'm sure it will encourage someone here today. Um, so I, well, um, to begin with, I have uh, my mom and dad back back in Mauritius with my little brother, and my sister is here with me. Um, ever since we were, well, back home, me and my sister, we were like enemies all the time, always um, fighting. <laughs> Every little thing we, we were arguing about. Um, and we came, I came here, um, there was a bit of a gap, and then she came to join me. Nothing changed. We were still arguing, and it was becoming to a point that I couldn't understand why we keep arguing like that, and what's the reason behind that. And uh, when I discovered Kingdom, um, something changed. When we started learning that we have the authority to speak the situation, Things started changing, and I was thinking in my mind, there's no way that God would put us together as sisters, and then get us, and then we will be fighting like that, always in uh, disagreement um, over very little things that after you would think it would be like, why did we even argue on it? But we don't know where it was coming from, and my mom would, all, would always say, I don't know what, what happened to you two. Um, you guys are always fighting, always in disagreement. You will never be in agreement, um, ever. I will never see you both um, happy and, and, you know, behaving like two sisters, being close to each other. And um, uh, when I started discovering kingdom and knowing what's my authority, and then there was this verse that stood out for me from Proverbs. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking for the verse. Um, it's Proverbs 18:21, where it says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue." Um, then I started declaring the other way. I said, "But we kept saying that we don't get along, and it kept going on and on and on." So I started the other way, and things started changing. Um, I started declaring that. We can't be fighting like that. We are sisters. We love each other so much. And but then things will keep will be all right. A couple of months later, again the same thing. A fight comes out of out of nowhere here in Australia. And my mom would say the same thing again. Then I started realizing, and I spoke to my mom, and I said to her, um, "I've been praying for me and my sister to to be one like." We are sisters. We are not here to fight. We are here to stand together for our family. But every time we have a little disagreement, you keep saying that we will never be in agreement. Mm. We will never be together behaving like two loving sisters. And I told her to start changing that. Mm. And she actually did. She actually did. She started um, proclaiming positive things. We had the three children, my brother, my sister, and myself. And it's been nearly, um, I would say, three years now. I can't recall me fighting with my sister. Um, I have a lot of people here. Um, I think I've been sharing with Rubika and Ruben as well whenever we had some disagreement because it was really hurting me. And I know it was hurting her as well. But we didn't know where it was coming from. But um, I don't know if Ruben is here, but Rubika, have you heard me say anything, um, anything that's not going right in my home? No. And, and that, that moment, my mom seeing us together like that changed her perspective as well, made her believe that, yes, whatever she would declare in her life, in our lives, it will come. And um, I just wanted to share this here tonight because I felt like 
sometimes without knowing it we are praying for we are praying we are thanking god for something but in on the other hand ah you're here okay <laughs> but uh, you know, on the other hand we are also declaring things um that uh that are not in line with what we are thanking god for and and it took me time to understand where this was coming from i had to take a moment be still and listen to that voice that directed me to my mom and talk to my mom and say mom this is not right let's all be in agreement together because we are one of us is saying this and another one is saying the yeah, something else it's not working we have to be together so i want to encourage anyone in here that you know if you're praying and you see that something is not happening don't be discouraged it's it's all about declaring it start seeing it it's it's a picture like like i always say to my mom um you got to paint that picture you want to see if you paint a picture of fear of of failure that's what's going to happen to so paint a picture of success a, pi- a picture of of a happy family your children all together um having a good time um and and now I'm married Sandra as well with us uh, I've never seen um my husband and my sister so close um both of them and it's good my mom is happy my family is all happy about this um and I, do I have time yes to share something else So, so that's Going. a little bit about my story, um, something that really impacted me. Um, but something else, uh, there's so many, so many testimonies, but something else that I really want to share is um, how um, our timing um, is completely different. Our timing, meaning the world's timing, is completely different to God's timing. Um, I've been here in Australia for nearly 10 years now. and it's always been a, a struggle um to get where i am and only until last year covid time not last year 2020 2020 so the the year before um i got to apply for my permanent residency where my job sponsored me and uh, it it's been a roller coaster but um I it's been such a such a great a miracle for me that I can't even explain exactly how things have gone through but one thing for sure is when you apply it usually takes around 6 months or more for you to get at least an answer from them um I got my PR within 3 months and and that was like for me that was completely impossible and and that that that's what I always say that um when i come to a point where i feel like okay this is not possible for me i'm actually happy because that's when i know that he is going to make everything possible at this time as long as i can do something well he's he's here with me he's going to give me the strength but for that miracle to happen is when i say to god uh, that's it um now it i i'll just wait for you i'll just wait for your miracle and he just changes everything if i have to keep going i have so many testimonies um my whole life has been a testimony and especially ever since i came to australia and i really feel blessed to be in this country because god has shown me so much i got closer to god i got to understand my identity i know who i am and and it's just great to be a, a daughter of the king <laughs> Um I don't know if I took too much time and yeah I hope this encourages someone here um just keep going don't worry about the timing uh when we feel that we're losing that time that's when he says I have plenty time to do it so just just keep your focus on him um like we always say we seek first his kingdom and everything else is added to it so so that's me <laughs> Amen. 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 Um one thing is okay so just before I say anything else Ruben just said there's 52 weeks in the year and you can preach every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll try to make a list. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can share a testimony every Sunday. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. But, uh, but I must say, uh, even just what you shared about picturing what we, what the outcome that we want to see, that spoke to me as well in the way you just described it. Um, thank you, Redima, because Redima, for the, for those who don't know, Redima is one of our leaders, and um, we have journeyed with her over the last uh, how many years now, Redima? Probably yeah. seven to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, many years. And uh, one thing that I can say is, we always see, we've we've journeyed with her, and we've seen so many uh, miracles, like she just described, and we've seen transformation in her life. She learns a thing, and then she does it, <laughs> and then she testifies of it. And it is so wonderful to see the things uh, that God has done in her life. And I can testify to you and Ketsia because at your wedding, it was like it was Ketsia who just got around all of us and got everything organized with the rest of us, um, you know, and and okay. and just was beside you and you were not able to have your mom and dad here, but uh, I believe she was such a big strength to you. She was just there it was. and and doing everything together with you. So that is a testimony of, of what you said, you know, of the words that we speak, that we have life and death in our tongues. And so if we're praying for something, if we're declaring something like Papa Luke shared yesterday about declarations, um, you know, then imagining the outcome too uh, just matches everything together so thank you so much redeemer that was thank awesome you, thank you for blessing thank us you. <laughs> let's give redeemer a hand